G'day guys, welcome back. I am going to show you how I mix my paint for my blobs today. So I've been experimenting uh, with a few different products. I started off, when I did that dandelion blow one, I started off using um, Floetrol uh, with some Liquitex pouring medium and some GAC. But I found that the Floetrol just took so long to dry. And when I made really big blobs like that, I was having to wait six days between the layers. So I'm not using anything that's got the Floetrol in it. Um, and I found that I'm just using a mixture of glue. The, um, I'm using the Elmer's glue all, but I'm sure any white PVA craft glue will work for you because it's pretty much the same thing. It's a white thick glue. And then I'm also using a little bit of the Golden GAC 800 uh, just, so, just to help prevent splitting. I don't know whether or not you could use it without that because I haven't tried it. I just ordered this big bottle about a year ago and I thought, oh, well, I might as well use it up. Um, I think, yeah, I got it through Amazon. Um, so, yeah, maybe try that. Or you could experiment and just try with a bit of water. The only thing is with water and the blobs taking so long to dry, maybe the water will evaporate and cause cracking I'm, I'm not sure i haven't experimented with with that with water so but you guys could try it if you want to now i've got my scale here it's on a tile um, i find that you have to have your scale on a hard surface i've got it on grams um, but i may actually change it once i've weighed something i may actually change it to ounces so that you guys can see what it is in ounces as well if that's helpful for you Oops, wrong one. I'm doing it upside down. All right, that's mils, that's grams. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is you need a cup, you need your stirring stick. I'm, at the moment, I'm doing a beach blob pour. So I've run out of, I've done my first layer, I've run out of blue. So I'm going to make up some more blue. And I'm using this, the Montmartre Studio Acrylic. This is Cerulean Blue. Any sort of medium bodied paint will work. Um, Liquitex Basics, I think, is a little bit thicker, so you may have to just adjust your recipe. But um, anything that sort of blobs out like that should be fine. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is put the cup on and go back to zero. I hope you guys can see there. I've got these uh, squeeze bottles that I bought from through Amazon. They've got a nice wide mouth there for pouring paint in don't get the one that's got the little tiny um some of them have got like a nozzle that's oh no it's quite small the opening so try and get the bigger one <clears throat> so i just i think i've got two packs of 10 but um yeah i'm going to use this this is empty i'm just going to pour my paint back into that one but i just wanted to show you now if your scale's been sitting for a while just tap there to wake it back up again oh the other thing i need to tell you with the Elmer's glue all, if it's been sitting around for a while, it separates and you get this uh, layer of, I don't know what it is, I guess it's water, I, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, it comes to the surface and then when you pour it out, it's really, really thin and it's just, um, it's like milk. So make sure you give your bottle a really, really good mix up and get that thin layer to mix in because, um, yeah, otherwise... You'll pour it out and you go, oh, that's really, really thin, which is what I did. And then I didn't I didn't realize that it did separate. So a little bit of info for you there. Right, let's get to it. Now, the first thing we need to do is pour in our glue. And I'm going to do 100 grams. So weird looking at it upside down. <laughs> okay, I've gone up to 124. Let's just pour some back. It doesn't matter if you're a little bit over, like, you know, five grams or something. It's not going to make much difference. But for the sake of this, there we go, 105. I'll just move that glue out of the way. So 105. So let's just change that. Ounces. It's 3.8 ounces. 3.7 ounces. Okay. 
let's go back to grams it also tells you pounds so if you've got one of these scales that you can change it's easy just if you want to know how many grams just set your scale to grams and, and it's easy so the next thing we need to do we've got our 100 grams or 105 it doesn't matter if it's five grams over zero that again and now we're going to give our little GAC bottle a little bit of a mix up as well you never know if things separate when they've been sitting all right so we need 25 grams of GAC and now it's really thin so go slow we're up to 22 24 25 there 26 that's okay and that in ounces is it's changed to ounces 0.9 of an ounce but yeah as I said just get one of these scales that tells you grams and you can work it out in grams because I will show you a little snap a little um card in a minute it's got the measurements on right so we've got our glue we've got our GAC now we zero that again and it's time for the paint I find the paint's better off going in afterwards because then it doesn't sort of stick to the sides. It just goes into the middle and it's coated. It just makes it easier to stir. Otherwise, the paint goes to the bottom of the cup and gets stuck. All right, so now we need 150 grams of paint. See how it sort of blobs out like that? It's a nice thickness. 120 140 now I'm not fussed if I go over a little bit because I can always add a little bit of gap to thin it out all right so we have there's 159 there so that's okay I'm happy with that I'll just move that out of the way for now and this is where we get to stir 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 I'll show you these sticks I've got big sticks and little sticks if I'm just using a little cup I'll use that but if I've got a thick mix like this and a big cup I'll go with that one it's just easier on my hands make sure you get the sides it's pretty thick I think what I'll do now now that I've stirred it I'm going to bring the tripod down to the side of me so that you can see a side on shot because I'm going to show you the consistency <laughs> stand straight up all right so just one sec and I'll move you down to the side right oh so I've mixed it up now, as you know, each paint colour does seem to be a little bit different in thickness from other colours. Now, I would have that a little bit thicker. So in our cup, I think we took it up to, what was it, 158? 160 grams. I'm going to add a little bit more paint. When I'm using black paint, I have to use less black because it's so thick. Um, when I add white, I have to add a little bit more white. It just depends on the paint. I'm just going to add another um, we were on 158, weren't we? So 160, okay, so this is 20 grams. So this is taking it up to 180 grams. So some colors like the browns, for instance, the dark browns, um, it's quite a thick paint. So basically start with these measurements, but then you will have to adjust just depending on your paint because uh, some paints are really thick some paints are really thin okay now that's how I like it see how thick it is it leaves a really high mound 
hope you can see that. When you lift it straight up, see the little end flops over, like when you're whipping meringue, it does, it does flop over. It doesn't, the peak, that's it. The peak doesn't stay up. It sort of flops over, which is what you want. But that's, that's the consistency. It's really thick, isn't it? So if you think you've made it thick enough, you probably haven't and make it thicker all right so I'm just going to pour this into my squeeze bottle here and uh, then we'll do some blobs on the tile so I'll just give it one more good stir make sure you're getting the side scraping the bottom scraping your stick okay now I'm going to pour that in this is why you need a nice wide mouth for your squeeze bottle. This is a eight inch, not eight inch, eight ounce squeeze bottle, which is holds about 250 grams or 250 mil, something like that. So eight inch, I keep saying inch, eight ounces. All right, so now let's turn this over I'm gonna get you down a bit lower actually okay that's pretty low hey all right now let's squeeze so I'll just clean that off you shouldn't have paint dripping out really if it's a nice thick mixture it won't just fall out oh, I need to get my paint down a little bit into my nozzle so just hold it a little bit above your surface. Don't touch, just a little bit above and keep it there. So it's under the paint as you squeeze. And then you lift up. See, it's got a tiny little tip there. That's okay. It needs to have that little tip. If you're not getting the tip, it's not thick enough, but then the tip will go. If you're getting like a, a spike, a peak, and it's not going, then it's too thick. I had, um, I must have had slightly different shade in this one. I was using up my old paint, so it's got a little bit of um, a lighter blue there. But that's basically what you're looking for. I'm going to do one more over here. Keep your nozzle under the paint. Okay, and then if you've got a little bubble like that, just pop it. And then if it makes a hole, just cover the hole over. There's another bubble there on the back. I don't know if you can see it. And there we go. Three beautiful blobs. And they are quite high, aren't they? Now, they, when they're nice and thick like this, they don't tend to spread very much, which is really nice. I mean, you still need to leave a little gap between them. Um, I'd leave more than expected. You can always fill in with a little bit of extra paint if your gaps are a bit too big. But yeah, you need to have big enough gaps to allow the paint to spread a little bit all right now i'm going to show you my little flash card of what i did whoops there it is there whoa where am i going so you can take a little snapshot of that so if this has helped you in any way please feel free to send me a little paypal donation it all helps I wish someone had given me a recipe <laughs> before I'd started, but, um, you know, I had to just experiment and figure it out as I went. But, yeah, as I said, if, if I've helped you and if you feel so inclined, you can use the little PayPal me link below and, and um, send me a little surprise. I can go and buy some more paint. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.
hope that's helped and um, enjoy blobbing. I look forward to seeing your blob art real soon. Okay, bye!